video, we're going to learn about rhetorical questions. And to learn about rhetorical questions, it's first good to know what a declarative sentence is, which is very important. So declarative sentence. And that's going to be a sentence that directly asserts a proposition. Or a sentence that directly makes a claim. So a sentence like, the cat is on the mat. Okay, the cat is on the mat. That's about as straightforward as it gets. Uh, now, the thing is, a lot of language doesn't work this way. And so here's an example of something that doesn't work that way. And that's a rhetorical question. which is our topic for this video. Uh, now, a rhetorical question is a question that indirectly asserts a proposition. Okay, so the point about a rhetorical question is it's not directly stating like the cat is on the mat. So an example is like, um, let's say you're uh, watching some athletics, maybe basketball, football, or whatever. You can see this athlete boasting, like they're just like, oh, you know, acting like, oh, they're all that. And so you say, or you hear someone say, um, who does he think he is? Who does he think he is? Okay. Now, when you ask that, you now you might actually be wondering, like, who does he think he is? But I don't think that's it, it, that's what we're often saying. If we were to say something like that, we're actually indirectly asserting a proposition. We're like, who does he think he is? We're really saying um, he thinks that he's more than he actually is, or he he thinks he's all that when he's not. Okay, that's what we're indirectly asserting uh, with this rhetorical question. Okay, now rhetorical questions are fine to have in language. Um, it's nice that they're there. Um, but uh, they can lead to um, problems. And so I'm going to give some advice and show how the advice will solve some problems. So here's the advice. Um, when, so when you hear, sorry, when you hear a rhetorical question uh, when you hear a rhetorical question ask yourself two things okay number one which proposition are they asserting? And two, is that proposition true? So it's good to break it up when somebody asks you a rhetorical question, just be like, wait, what exactly are they saying? And then is it true? So sometimes, one, one rhetorical question people will sometimes ask in my ethics class is, who's to say what's right or wrong? Okay, they'll say that in, when we're talking about right or wrong. Who's to say what's right or wrong? Now, what might be they be asserting there indirectly? So going back to our definition, like what's the proposition that they're indirectly asserting? They might be saying, nobody's ever in a position to say what's right or wrong. Now that doesn't, is that really right, right? Like, is it really true that nobody's in a position? Like, so I wonder if that's really what they're saying when they're saying who's to say what's right or wrong. Um, so ask what, they're, what proposition they're asserting. Now suppose they really are saying that. Um, who's to say what's right or wrong? They're really just saying nobody's ever in a position to say what's right or wrong. Then ask is that's, if that's true. And I think that's false. I mean, 
you know, my parents raised me right, and I have a conscience, so you know, I am, I'm in a position to say what's right or wrong. I mean, you know, it's, it's not that hard to say that certain things are right or wrong. So that's one example um, where when somebody asks that question, you'd be like, what are you actually saying? And is it true? Probably not. Um, now, here's two more examples. Um, somebody asks, so let's say you're at a uh, study group and you working on a group project and you make a suggestion and the other person says, well, isn't that a brilliant idea? Okay. And they say it in that like sarcastic, you know, negative way. Well, isn't that a brilliant idea? Okay. Now, when they're asking that, what are they really saying? They're saying your idea sucks. Okay. Your idea is not a good one. Okay. That's the proposition they're asserting. But now you have to ask, is that proposition true? And notice when somebody uses sarcasm like that, when they use a rhetorical question, there's actually no argument given. They haven't given you a reason to think that your idea was a bad one. Okay, so um, that's the point of step two. And really what they're doing is they're trying to bully you with the rhetoric, right? The power of their words and the tone of their voice. Isn't that a brilliant idea? Okay, here's what would be better. Stick to declarative sentences and they could say, Oh, I don't think that's a good idea because of blah, 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 right? Now you can reconstruct the argument. That it's not a good idea because, and then you can give the reasons, X, Y, Z. That's more respectable. You're like, oh, okay, yeah, all right, thanks. You know, <laughs> um, But isn't that a brilliant idea? It kind of shuts you down and bullies you, but makes it seem like they gave a reason when they did it. It's all rhetoric. Um, another example So is, um, is uh, in that case, they bullied you. They can, might, people might smooth talk you with rhetorical questions too. So they might ask, wouldn't you be happier with this new iPhone? <laughs> you can imagine an advertising. Wouldn't you, like, wouldn't you be happier with this new iPhone? And they're, the proposition they're indirectly asserting is you would be happier with a new iPhone. But ask, is it true? And when they ask these questions in these smooth ways, you forget that they actually didn't give you an argument. Now, you can ask, well, why would it make me happier? Now you can ask for the argument. But watch for when rhetorical questions replace an argument. Um, and all they're rhetor re replacing it with is rhetoric. Okay, so uh, ask these two questions, rhetorical questions, and that'll be the end of this video.